What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Wednesday, January the 17th, 2024. Today, we're going to talk about Quopi. We're going to talk about that platform that uh, has made a lot of claims that it's coming back and it's resurging and uh, it's getting people's accounts back running and all this different stuff um, that they've been saying. And some people uh, even have wrote back in the comment section saying that they have experienced themselves. So I'm not here to write that completely off. Uh, but I know that uh, as far as me, and here at BOJ, we talk about our experiences and, you know, our experience has been that we have not received not one email from Quopi uh, trying to get a recovery process started. And there's a lot of leaders that I know that have not received any notification from Quopi at all. Um, and even after going through the process of going to the website and putting in the email and all that great stuff. So not saying that that's not happening at all, because there are some people that I know have confirmed that it's happening for them. However, we have some stuff today that's going on already. Uh, the site seems to be down, all right? Of course, we're going to confirm this ourselves. We're not just going to take the word of the uh, the uh, actual telegram or anything like that all the way. But, you know, <laughs> it's down. I just checked it myself. Anyway, before we get too deep, I'm already deep enough. I want to remind all of you that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor. I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I am cranking out that crypto in many different platforms. Nothing more and nothing less than that. Now, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And please, sir, and please, ma'am, don't be scammed by the WhatsApp man because if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you. All right. Stay uh, diligent and vigilant in the space and in the comment section as well. Uh, we're going to go into the uh, Quopi Telegram group one of them all right and the last notification that we have in the quopi ai announcements group is from the 13th so uh we're not gonna zoom in on that one there is one that was posted in a community chat uh i believe the one that everyone has been able to write in until now all right uh and we're gonna load that one up really quick so you guys can see what i'm talking about there all right, now this is in Telegram. Uh, this is the Quopi AI Trader official group with 16,000 members here. Of course, there's some stank faces rolling, of course, because they noticed that, hey, what is this? The the platform is no longer showing anything. It seems to be down. Now the platform is down. Um, and then the admin bot posted another Quopi announcements group. So we clicked on it this morning, and um, they had this, I guess this channel, created back in February of last year. Um, but uh, Dear Quopi Community, updates on the current situation will be provided uh, shortly. Now, before I continue to read, this was at 7.52 a.m. It is now 10.27 a.m. Eastern Time. All right. Uh, please remain patient. At this time, we cannot confirm why our website is inaccessible or what has happened to our Telegram channel. Our technical team is actively working on a solution. Thank you for your understanding. All right, and then it says website status update. Dear Quopi community, we're currently assume that you're uh, that our we currently assume that our entire network has been affected by a major hack. At this point, we can only state that our entire infrastructure is impacted. However, we want to emphasize that all funds in our hot wallets are secure and have not been stolen. All of our official pages and channels have been deleted, including our old Telegram group channels, our old Telegram channels and accounts, Discord server as well as all other social media profiles. Uh, please note that currently only this Telegram channel is official, uh, where we will continue to keep you informed and report on the current situation. Our technical team is working diligently to resolve the issue. Uh, please remain patient. We will keep you updated on any new developments. Thank you for your understanding. The Quopi management team. Now, of course, I'm going to join this group and... Um, the reason I'm going to join this group is because, of course, we want to stay updated. Um, so I think that everyone else should be. I'm, I won't pin it right now. I got enough stuff pinned. But we want everyone else to be updated. And at least they haven't limited the uh, the emojis that you can use to the positive ones, which is good. Because people can actually share their true feelings about what this is. Um, to me, honestly, let me just be as frank as I can be. Every time we see this in the space, the platform is gone. It's just finding a slow bleed out way to continue on, keep people's hope alive, string them along, and then it disappears. Now, of course, we say this all the time when a platform goes away. If it comes back, starts working correctly, we'll come back and we'll say, hey, Quopi is here. 
it is working and is affected. You know, it, it's it's fixed whatever problems it was having and it's effectively back uh, to the community. Uh, but since its rollout, we've seen nothing but issues. All right. We've seen nothing but a kind of a selective rollout. I uh, don't know that any withdrawals ever happened, even when people got access to their account. So people can feel free to leave it in the comments, whether they were even able to process withdrawals during this time. But this is something that we've kind of just been watching only because they this this is almost like a case study in platforms, right? These these crypto plat, uh, passive platforms and how they go away. All right. Now, we've seen many of them go away over these last two, almost three years that we've been talking about these platforms uh, in this space. Um, and this is this is uh, I can't say that it's much different than a select few. All of them have their different ways. Some of them just go quickly. Some of them slow bleed out. Some of them uh, just, you know, I mean, those are really the two that we've seen. You either really go quickly. If you if you think there's a medium out, then maybe there is. But those are usually slow bleeds. They, they turn from slow pay into no pay. And, you know, that's unfortunate. But that's the nature of this space. This is something that we already know. So this is why we preach risk management from the jump, right? Whatever you decide to jump in there with. Uh, and of course, you have to take it by a case by case basis because only you have your own feelings about what you're seeing. I'm only going to bring uh, my opinion and how I see sort of some of the things that uh, we're involved in in this space. But at the end of the day, um, this is a platform that was a successful passive platform if you got in with the right timing. Um, and that's another thing. That's another lesson to learn about this space. Um, if you get in at the right time, if you get in early enough, if you make your decisions early enough, then you either can reap the benefits of that length of time. No one knows how long it's going to last. Only the platform really knows. And it's, who knows if they even know, right? Um, so all that being said, uh, Quopi, to me, honestly, is just about done. Now, um, they say they haven't had their hot wallets hacked, which is great on their end, but that means they have everybody's money with no system to return it. All right. So, um, you know, with that being said, if you're, if you're waiting and sitting around on Quopi, uh, good luck to you. Uh, I'm not, I have not been, but, uh, what we definitely wanted to do is continue to share our opinion as this goes along, because we were in Quopi. And if it happened to come back, then of course we were going to talk about that too. Um, we talk about just about exclusively only the things that we're involved in here at BOJ from a deposit standpoint, if we put any amount of deposit in, then we're going to talk about it. Uh, with respect to compliance, of course, with different platforms. But um, Kopi had no limitations really to that. So with that being said, uh, hey, it was a good run, in my opinion. Uh, we got in with good timing. Some folks didn't. Some, uh, some folks out there are learning a lesson right now, uh, and they're deciding whether this is a space that they want to be in in general. All right. It is a very risky space. It's something that we talk about every day that you have to play the game the right way. And if you're not playing the game the right way, then you may not have the best results. Um, but uh, this was one that did perform for a good while. So we will give it that credit. But at the end of the day, it's still doing at the end of most platforms what these platforms continue to do all the time. All right. They come, they go. And the way they go is a little bit different. It's a little bit interesting. This one has been interesting. Uh, but I do believe it's over. Now, like I said many times before, and I've continued to say this over and over again, if Kopi comes back, of course we'll do a video and let everybody know, hey, our experience is that Kopi comes back. But without our experience of Kopi coming back, we can't say that, all right? Put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west. If you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know it. It's not very fun at all. If you like this content, hit subscribe. You want to be updated and notified, hit the bell. And please, sir, and please, ma'am, don't be scammed by the WhatsApp man because if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you, all right? Stay diligent and vigilant in this space and in the comment section as well. I will see y'all on the next video. This is Kopi Update. Peace out.